This will be a brief introduction to the calculation of cumulative biogas production and biogas production rates from laboratory data using OBA, the online biogas app. So to get started, let's take a look at the two different types of files we will need to make these calculations. We'll need a volume file, which has information on biogas volume measured, in this case, from BMP bottles, batch reactors, and then composition, which has information on biogas composition. In a spreadsheet program, these files look like this. We have a bottle column, which has a unique ID code for each bottle. Days column, which is the time at which volume was measured. And then a volume column, which is the measured volume, in this case, in milliliters. And these volumes are the volume of biogas that accumulated from, well, in this case, from day 4 to day 5. 740 milliliters were measured. From day 9 to day 11, 1,140 milliliters were measured. The ID column has to have a unique value for each bottle. So here we can see 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1. So there are several in this file. And the data are organized in a long, a long format. So we have one observation per row. We don't need to have measurements for each bottle on the same days or at the same time. This days column, here it's an integer. It could be a real number, the same for the volume column. So we could have more precision in these measurements, 2.15 days, or we could have time measured in hours or minutes. Any of those are fine. Let's take a look at the composition data file. It's similar. We have the bottle ID column, the time column, but our third column now is the methane content of the biogas. And for OBA, it needs to be normalized by the sum of the CO2 and the methane contents. So here we had 73% methane. This could also be entered as a percentage. It could have been 73.3. All right, back to the app. We'll, we will upload those data files in just a second, but first we need to work in block one for a bit and specify some inf information about the measurements. So data type. Well, these were volume data, so we'll leave that at the default. The measurement temperature, in this case, it was around 25 degrees. And the measurement pressure, we're going to assume it's atmospheric pressure. So these correspond to the temperature and pressure at which biogas volume was measured. And they'll be used to correct to standardized conditions and to remove the contribution of water vapor. All right, so let's upload our volume file can take a look at it to make sure it was read incorrectly and it looks good. This just shows the first 10 rows, but we could see more using these buttons down here. And we can close it with the X or the close button at the bottom. We can also sort these columns and search for particular values. Now we have to identify columns. So the bottle ID column is called bottle. Time column is days and the volume column is vol underscore ml. All right, now on to methane content. Do we have measured methane content for each reactor? Yes, we do, so we'll use it. In that case, we need to upload a composition file. There it is, we can take a look to make sure it was read correctly. And remember that the names of the bottle ID column and the time column need to match the names used for the volume file. We have to specify which column has our methane content. And lastly, we have this question, extrapolate biogas composition, or rather a setting. We do need to, to extrapolate biogas composition here. And the reason is our first composition measurement came after our first volume measurement. So the first volume measurement happened to be on day two here, but composition wasn't measured until day seven. So we're going to have to apply extrapolation to estimate the composition value for all those days before day seven. And OVA uses constant extrapolation. You may have noticed that once we selected the methane content column, we got a plot. So here are our results. We can click the enlarge plot button. 
to see them. We have our time variable, in this case days, and then the cumulative volume of methane that's been produced. And we have a line endpoints for each reactor. In this case, because our input volumes were in milliliters, these values are also milliliters. So the reactors that produce the most biogas produce close to one liter of methane. So let's close this. We could download it as a PNG file. We can also view our data with the view table button. Again, we're just looking at the first 10 rows here. We can sort columns. If you hover over any of these columns, you can get a definition of what they are. The first three are from the input data. This is our possibly interpolated or extrapolated methane content. We have the standardized volume of biogas in milliliters, and then the standardized volume of methane. And these are the volumes just produced in a given interval. So from day 0 to day 2, we had 640 milliliters of methane. The columns that start with C are cumulative volumes. So here's our cumulative methane volume, probably the one we're most interested in. But we also have rates of biogas and rates of methane production. And these rate calculations are based on the change from the previous time to the current time. So our initial rate of methane production for this reactor was 320 milliliters per day. Let's close this. If you use OBA for processing your data, you probably want to download the results, and you can do that with this button here. And you just get a CSV file. I'm opening it in a spreadsheet program. It has the same data that we just had open. And now these can be used for further processing or for plotting.